Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more Civilization 5 in Media Australia. So, the number one thing we need right now is gold. Because I need that for unit upgrades, I need that for research agreements. That's the most important thing right now. I can already get another one with Arabia, however, yeah, I don't have enough gold right now. I need 300, and he needs 300. He's probably going to spend it for something. Well, we'll see. Anyway, the next city I'm going to settle is actually going to be down here, because I need all that silk. We need luxuries in general, but that's a lot of silk, I will be able to sell some of it. That's the plan, at least. And I need to focus on growth a bit more, we need a lot more population right now. That's what we'll be working on. Yeah, let's work the dice right away. And Melbourne can grow quite nicely, it has a lot of nice food tiles in range. I just need to improve some of those, but it will grow nicely. This might end up being our highest population city in the long run. That's what I'm thinking. It has the most food potential. And I think I'll probably have to ignore this area in the middle. Yeah, I could settle it, but that will cost me too much happiness for how much the city would be worth. It wouldn't be worth a whole lot right now. I mean, even if Theodora settles in the middle, she won't be able to defend that city very easily. I just have to ignore it. It will cost me too much happiness. I need my other cities to grow instead. And yes, I can see that the Mongols declared war on Attila. That's not exactly surprising. Hey, I want them to fight each other, and they are basically neighbors. They are more or less guaranteed to fight each other. Which is great for us. We don't want either of them to get too strong. Right, the archer is going to be an escort for the settler. I might upgrade him, but I don't really want to waste my gold for that right now. We need the gold for research agreements, specifically. Well, there's the settler. And the next up, I think we need the Colosseum. Because I need happiness badly. Yep, Colosseum it is done. However, we also need our cities to grow. Let's work the food tiles. And we can work one production tile. This is fine. Yep, looks good to me. And I might use at least one internal trade route for food. We'll see about that. Anyway, next up we'll get the deer. We should also send one worker with the settler. You know, to improve the silk right away. There is still a barbarian camp over there. Hopefully they won't have too many nasty units. Alright, let's go. And that's Melbourne. It is still growing quite nicely, and it will grow nicely for a while. Let's get Stoneworks, because that's both production and also plus one happiness. As for the caravan, yeah, this is going to be the best trade route for now. Okay, that will be enough. I will need at least one caravan that is somewhere. Yes, accept. Probably in Brisbane. In fact, I might just ignore the walls for now. Yeah, how about we get a caravan zari? Right, we haven't unlocked caravan zari yet because we need to finish horseback riding. So that will take four more turns. Fine, let's continue the walls, but I will switch to caravan zari as soon as we finish the walls. I need at least one city with it, so that's going to be the city. Alright then. Carry on. We still need that gold for research agreements. Working on it! I might have to make a few cuts because, I mean, not a whole lot will be happening. It's just me waiting for construction. Oh, and we can finish tradition. There it is. That will help our growth for sure. And also gives us some production. Certainly don't mind that part. And Melbourne got plus one population. Right, let's work the copper right here. That's actually a pretty nice style. Alright. And we need to decide which exact tile we want to settle down here. Probably this one, actually, right here. The fish will still be in range. 
I could settle on this side and get the pearls, but I don't know. I'd prefer to be on this side. But technically, this location would give us one more luxury. That might be better. I do not otherwise have access to pearls. Alright, that's probably worth it. Fine. We will settle right here to get the pearls. I might have to buy it because it's technically in range of all matter. But we'll worry about that later. Let's check our capital real quick. Yeah, right here. And then we'll just work the tiles with gold. Yeah, I don't have any other tile with more than one food. We could also work the mine to get more production. Yeah, that will finish Colosseum faster. Works for me. I also need a writer's guild somewhere. I need a lot of things. And I can't get all of them all at the same time, sadly. As much as I would like to. Not quite going to happen. And we also need to work on the roads. So I guess we'll work on those. No, I'm not giving you open borders. Not now, not ever. Oh, we actually got a city-state quest. To get rid of that barbarian camp. Okay, that's nice. I might not be able to do it with an archer. 110 gold. I seriously need the gold for research agreements. I just can't do this right now. I cannot afford to upgrade this guy. Not until we get more gold. I just can't. Can we sell anything right now? Nope. I'm tempted to upgrade the iron first, but I need more population. So we need the wheat. We have the happiness. I just need the growth now. To take advantage of that happiness. No open borders for you. Just stop asking, sure. because you're not getting it ever. Let's keep moving, people. I can't actually embark, so I need to go through the city-state territory. I don't have the technology to embark. Not yet, anyway. Right, I made a small cut because literally nothing was really happening. Oh, I should have moved the archer there. Yeah, if I move my settler, he's going to get captured. We wouldn't want that, would we? I can still move and attack because this was a scout originally. So like this. Here, and then we can actually settle the city. Alright then, so I need 12 more gold, literally. Can we really not sell anything right now? I can sell the horses. How about we do that then? I just need a little bit of gold. How much is that again? 180, if I'm not mistaken? No, that's even more. Okay, this is fine. And then we can get research agreement. Once Arabia gets 300 gold. But they have pretty good income. That shouldn't take too long. We are up to 500, but that's not a whole lot. I mean, I need 300 just for one research agreement. Alright, let's get this city started. There, done. I actually should have started it first. Well, no, that wouldn't have made a difference. Never mind. Just kill that guy. And then we'll start a granary. I need it to grow. So granary first makes sense. And I should send a worker there. Yeah, the camp just finished. We can send this guy. That makes sense. It would be nice to research at least sailing. Just to be able to embark. Uh, do we have wine anywhere? We don't, do we? No, we actually do not. Fine, let's trade cotton for wine. Because while I need gold, I also need happiness. Which means luxuries. Oh, wait, what? Where did these guys come from? What the heck? Well then, apparently they came from somewhere. It doesn't really matter, now we have the city. And we can use city bombardment. And the archer. So, back to our capital really quick. There's the Colosseum. Let's just grab the water wheel. How about a stable? That would be nice for our production. How many horses, sheep and cattle do we have here? Oh, not that many. Like one, basically? Yeah, literally one. I thought I had more in range. 
Well, I guess not. You know what? Let's get a cargo ship. Because our best trade route is Dana. with a cargo ship. Dana. There's the research agreement. No, I'm not giving you open borders. We still got that city state quest in here. That shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, that guy is going down. And I need to get through here. The units are blocking the Dana. way for me. Dana. How rude. Truffles for a crab. Yep, that's a good deal right there. Again, I need happiness to maintain my growth. And currency is done. So now we need some markets. Still waiting for my border to expand to that deer over there. Alright, let's wait for that. Here. That will finish the city-state quest and it gives us a little bit of extra gold. And now... We should build a road to Brisbane, but that will cost me a lot more gold until that road is done. I don't want to do that right now. I think that deer is still unimproved. Let's go work on that then. That's a much better idea. We can get that road later. It's not really crucial at the moment. So next up, the iron. That will be worth quite a bit of gold. And we're done here. At least for now. There's still at least one more decent spot for a city further to the southwest. And I will almost certainly settle that. We'll see. Yeah, come on, can you guys, like, move out of the way? Would be nice. I would certainly appreciate that. Another one there? That's not a very relevant one. Well, I can't get through here until they move some of their units. Oh wait, there is a camp here already. Not sure why I thought there isn't. Okay, never mind. Let's get a lumber mill or something. I need more tiles with more than one production. So I suppose lumber mill will do. How do I have three dice? What? Oh yeah, from a city state, right? No. What the heck? That makes no sense. But okay, whatever. Can't really trade anything at the moment. Dumb. When is that research agreement going to trigger? The first one we had was with Carthage. 19 turns, really? Okay. Well, that's still quite a lot. I guess we'll wait for that. What Hiwata oh. doesn't have education yet? No. And also, we need 17 more gold. We just need one side to get education. I don't need education myself. They need education. Well, or I need it, but he's probably going to get it first. Yeah, at this rate, I will not be able to get through here until I research optics. You know what? Screw it. Let's just research optics, because I need to be able to embark. At least with my civilian units, so we'll do that. More population. Yeah, the capital will grow a little bit slower. I don't have as many good food tiles. I might also be able to use an internal trade route to boost one city's growth. Probably worth it. I most certainly can't do it with a cargo ship yet. Actually, no, I can. I might do that. We'll see. Let's wait for the cargo ship first. Yeah, optics will be done in two turns. We might as well just embark now. As for Melbourne... Well... Amphitheater? Probably. Or we could get a few more units. You know what? Let's get another worker, because I don't need more workers. I don't quite have enough at the moment. We are up to five cities. And I got, what, four workers? That is definitely not enough. There, give me optics. Thank you very much. What is Attila doing over here? Just chilling, apparently. Here, so now we can actually embark. And we got more growth. Yeah, hold to population. Let's work the fish. To get free population faster. It won't be super fast, but still faster than it would have been with plus one food. Looking pretty decent so far. What's our tech count right now? 19. Okay, that's not too bad. 
And not a single research argument triggered yet. We should be fine. Yes, let's work together. Give me all your science. I'm still looking for another good city location, but there's not a whole lot. This is honestly the next best city location that we can actually see at the moment. So that will probably be it. That's what I'm thinking. We still got 14 happiness. And we could definitely use at least one internal trade route for growth. Probably for our capital, because it won't grow very quickly otherwise, but I would certainly like it to grow. Let's check. Trade routes available. Yeah, that's going to be seven food. I think I'm going to do that with rod cargo ship. Although, now we got some barbarians. That's a little bit inconvenient, but okay. Melbourne is up to 8 population, nice. Yeah, we'll work the deer, obviously, and let's work the production tiles now. How's that farm coming along? Yeah, that will still take a while. Carry on. No open borders for you, sorry. I'm not giving you that basically ever. Hiwata wants to declare war on the Mongols. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. They are technically on the other side of the map, so I could have accepted that, but I don't really want to take any chances. Would rather avoid going to war with anyone right now. Granary next. Still need to upgrade that one more archer. Let's just upgrade him, that's fine. Open borders? No. You guys should just stop asking about open borders, because you're not getting it. I think we could go for gold now. Might be able to get more than this. Let's wait for our turn. Taiwata. Yeah, let's wait for our turn. I think that's the most gold we can get from him. And we got civil service. Nice. Okay then. Yeah, now we can get 360. Nice. Okay. That's 606. We still need more income. Water mill for our capital, probably. Oh, and I still need Writer's Guild. Probably not here, although that would be acceptable. Alright, fine. Let's get the Writer's Guild in our capital. And we are going to work that internal trade route. Hopefully it will be fine. Wouldn't want barbarians to settle it, but I need that food. That's just how it is. I need the food. And it's time to finish that road for the city connection. I think I'll have to connect this city through a harbor. Yep, I'm definitely not building a road for the city-state territory. Amphitheater, market, yeah, we need markets to get the gold. That's kind of obvious. Carry on then. How's that research agreement? Are we getting it? In 10 turns, okay. Then with Arabia in how many? In 32. And I still don't have one with Hayawata. Yeah, one of us still needs education. I'm getting pretty close. Yep, I will have it pretty soon. In fact, we should get it in 9 turns. After that research agreement triggers. But then I'll need a lot more gold. I'll need two research agreements at the same time. Still need to work on my economy. Hey, now we can what sell iron. Let's keep how? some of it at least. Yeah, how about we sell just one? How much is one worth? 75 gold? A no, 67, gold. right. Let's sell one to them. We can sell two. Melima. Two. Let's sell three. That's 202 Melima. gold, if I'm not mistaken. And I'll keep the rest for my own units. I just need to get the tech, but we'll get that soon enough. Oh, and we got the citrus. Let's go get that. Alright then. Didn't get the other one, but that's okay. One citrus is good enough. I wasn't really counting on getting too many tiles in range of Constantinople. I'm just glad we got at least one. There, the road here is done. The other one will be done soon enough. Still need that deer improved. Okay. Yeah, let's wait and finish that farm and then we can go 
to our newest city. What do we actually need around here? We need the wheat, apparently. Okay. And more farms. So this one, that is in range. I'll probably wait for my capital's border to expand to the spices. It just doesn't make any sense to settle a city here. It would not be a very good city. I need my other cities to grow as much as possible instead. New unit from Almaty. Oh, nice! A pikeman. We just literally doubled our military strength. <laughs> I mean, probably not, but... <laughs> Close. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and we got a spy. Let's maybe spy on Mongolia. That makes sense. Yeah, let's do that. We don't have declaration of friendship with them. They are on the other side of the map. So even if we piss them off, and even if they declare war on us, that won't matter too much. We don't really have to care about that. And we might be able to steal some techs from them. Yeah. They got how many? They got 28, and I got 20. So they got quite a few that we could potentially steal. How's that research agreement coming along? Five more turns. I should have a lot of techs queued up. Yeah, let's queue up metal casting here. Aaron working first and then metal casting. This is enough in the queue. Alright then. Well, it's looking decent so far. Could have been better. But we are on the right track. Renaissance era, okay. How many techs does he have? 27. Anyway, Writer's Guild, let's work that. Oh, and I should go through all my cities because we had some unassigned citizens in here, which is not a good thing. Lumber mill? No, let's work the tiles with gold. And also with one culture. These assignments are fine. Looks fine to me. Let's go through all the cities real quick. This one. Yeah, we got the farm now. Let's work that. And the mine. The market will be done pretty soon. And I'll have to get started on universities. As soon as they are done. And then work the specialists in there. I'll get the food because the city is still growing. And this one, yeah, not a whole lot to see here. I just need that worker to get here faster. Okay, looks like that's going to be it, at least for now. Let's grab that water mill. I waited long enough for that. I'll probably annex our puppeted city eventually. How much happiness would we lose if we did that? Five. Well... Maybe. I did unlock the courthouse a while ago. I'll have to think about it. I would definitely like to have direct control over that city. I'll let it finish the amphitheater first. It has quite a few buildings already. But again, I need to have direct control of that city. Especially to build up my navy. It's going to be a pretty good city. It might not have like a whole lot of production, but... Once I annex the city, I will be able to buy the ivory. And we don't actually have ivory yet. So that's one benefit. Do we have a camp here? No, we do not. Yeah, we actually do not. Let's go improve that. Yeah, this tile wasn't actually inside my borders a while ago. More trades. Yeah, I'm not buying silk. Why would I want to ever buy that? Accept research agreement. He finally got education, I guess. And let's keep moving with that builder. Worker, whatever. Plus some population. Yeah, I need that worker to get there faster. <laughs> so many unimproved tiles. Up to 10 population. Yeah, this is my biggest city right now. 10 population. That's pretty funny. That is actually pretty funny right there. Uh, right, I need to trade the truffles. Hold on. Let's wait for our turn first. Then we can trade. Come on now. Was that the research argument? No, that was just us. Finishing research the regular way. Two more turns Dumb. for research agreement. Luck. So let's get the gold because I'm going to need the gold. And maybe not with her because she will need the gold for a new research agreement with Leila. Byzantium. This will do just fine. 
I'm not giving you open borders, woman. Just stop asking about it. It's not happening, not now, not ever. 225? Really? Come on, give me the gold already. 215. What the heck? They're done. I guess that will do. That's 831. <laughs> it will be good enough for now. Now I could actually buy the pearls or something. But I'll need a work bot for that. Let's go work on the silk first. How much would a work bot actually cost us? Uh, 320. That's maybe a little bit too much. It's not like a work bot requires that much production. No, it does not. How's Melbourne doing? It's doing fine. Okay. So, how about we check our demographics real quick? Let's wait for our turn first. I'm probably still quite a bit behind, but shouldn't be as bad anymore. Yeah, the Mongols are number one in population, okay. We are 12% literacy behind, Carthage is the lead. They got 29 tags, but again, I didn't get a single research agreement triggering yet. We will catch up once they all trigger. I'll just need more population, but that's what I have been working on. Let's send the pikemen east. And the market is done. So, next stop. Not much point getting another settler right now. We don't need national epic somewhere. Either in our capital or in Melbourne. It doesn't really matter. What's the production in here? These two cities are roughly the same. Melbourne might be a little bit better in the long run. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And click the bell if you want to receive notifications. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.